Sometimes in our lives we all have pain. We all have sorrow. But if we are wise, we know that there's always tomorrow. If you have faith, you need to borrow. For no one can fill those needs that you won't let show. You just call on your brother when you need a hand. We all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'll understand we all need somebody to lean on lean on me when you're not strong and i'll be your friend i'll help you carry on for it won't be Just call on your brother if you need a friend. We all need somebody to lean on. I just might have a problem that you'll understand. We all need somebody to lean on. If there is a love you have to bear that you can't If you just call me, call me when you need a friend, call me when you need a shoulder, when you're down and out, call me all you do is call, call me. Welcome to Moment of Prayer. My name is Rebecca Koka and today we shall be praying for some people all over the world today. The theme of the prayer today is comfort my people. The Lord is asking the Spirit of the Most High God to comfort His people and today there are categories of people that will be praying the prayer of comfort. We will be praying for those in prison. We will be praying for the bereaved. We will be praying for those in troubled marriages. Those in financial difficulties. We are going to be praying for those with court cases. We are going to be praying for those faced with losses, for example, investment losses, job losses, home losses. We're going to be praying for leaders in churches. We're going to be praying for those with challenging parenthood, those with depression, anxieties, and distress. And the last one, we're going to be praying for the persecuted Christians all over the world. The Lord is sending His word of comfort to His people at this season. So again, I say the theme of the prayer today is comfort my people. When the hard times of life come, we know that no matter how tragic the circumstances seem, 
no matter how long the spiritual drops, no matter how dark the days, the sun is sure to break through. The dawn will come. The warmth of its assurance will hold us in an embrace once again. And we will know that our God has been there all along. We will hear him say through it all, Hold on, my child. We will hear from him saying to us, Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. There will always be nice seasons, but night cannot last forever. It's just before the dawn. I'm going to quote from him titled, John Comes in the Morning. The hymn says, If we near beside the rumble of an aching broken heart, when the things you gave your life to fell apart. You are not the first to be acquainted with sorrow, grief, or pain. But the Master, Jesus, promised sunshine after the rain. To invest your seed of trust in God, in mountains you can't move. You've risked your life on things you cannot prove. But to give the things you cannot keep for what you cannot lose is the way to find joy God has for you. Hold on, my child. Joy comes in the morning. Hallelujah. If you are here with me this morning, take your Bible. We're going to be looking at some scriptures and we're going to be praying for those mentioned earlier on. And I believe greatly that Lord Almighty who answers prayer by fire is going to answer our prayers and give us speedy answer in Jesus name. Amen. The main scripture I'm going to be using today is in the book of Isaiah 40 verse 1 to 5. The book of Isaiah chapter 40 verse 1 to 5. I repeat the book of Isaiah 40, verse 1 to 5. The theme of the prayer is comfort my people. Let's listen to the word of God in Isaiah. Comfort, yes, comfort my people, says your God. Speak comfort to Jerusalem and cry out to her that our warfare is ended, that our iniquity is pardoned, for she has received from the Lord's hand double for her as saints. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough places smooth. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. This is the word of the Lord for us this afternoon. And we are going to be praying for those in prison. This is going to be our first prayer for those in prison. There are many people in prison who are even innocent. There are many young people in prison. There are many old people in prison. These people, they need the comfort of God to keep on living. They need the hope from Christ. And they need the touch of God. That is why the Lord is remembering them at this season. If you have any member of your family in the prison, this is the time to stand in the gap and pray with us as we speak the word of comfort to them. I'm going to read from Psalm 102, verse 19 to 20 for them. This is the word of the Lord for those in prison. 
Psalm 102, 19 to 20. For the Lord looked down from the height of his sanctuary, from heaven. The Lord viewed the heart to hear the groaning of the prisoners. To hear the groaning of the prisoner, to release those appointed to death. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we release those who are in prison before you right now, Father. We ask for your divine comfort right now. In the name of Jesus. We ask for your divine touch right now. In the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh Lord, for your leading in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh Lord, that you will direct your steps, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Above all else, O oh Lord, for that we ask you, O oh God, this day, that you will release your spirit of comfort, the spirit of counsel, to those who are in prison at this time, O oh Lord, Father. So give them the hope that is in Christ only. So give them the hope that is in your blood only. Heavenly Father. Touch them, O Lord, we pray. In the name of Jesus, give them peace. The peace of God. The peace of Christ. That passes all human understanding. Let it abide upon them right now. Let it be upon them right now. In the name of Jesus. As many that are in prison at this time, that have not known you as their Lord and Savior. Father, we pray that you will touch them. You will save their soul. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The next category of people we're going to be praying for are those that are bereaved. There are many people that are bereaved all over the world. We have had the news of earthquakes. We have had the news of terrorists attack all over the world and we have seen young even old people die today we are going to be remembering those families that are bereaved and i'm going to read the word of god from the book of job chapter 8 verse 21 job chapter 8 verse 21 if you are watching me and you have people that are bereaved you can stand in the god for them to pray for the comfort of the Lord for them. Because it is the Holy Spirit only that can comfort. Holy Spirit only that can counsel these ones. So you can join me to pray for those who are bereaved. I read from Job 8, 21. You will yet fill your mouth with laughing and your lips with rejoicing. Hallelujah. The Lord is promising them once again that they will laugh and their lips will be filled with rejoicing. The book of Nahum, chapter 1, verse 9. Nahum, chapter 1, verse 9 says, Affliction will not rise a second time. This is the word of comfort from the Lord for those who are bereaved. The Lord is promising you once again that affliction of death Immature death will not rise a second time in your home. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, we we'll release those who have been before you right now. Old and young, black and white, all over the world. You know them, O Lord, and you know the nation, the nature of their bereavement. Right now, we pray, Holy Spirit, to comfort them. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, touch them right now and give them your peace, that peace that they need from you. Give them that comfort that they need from you. Holy Spirit, come set them right now. Wipe away their tears, Holy Spirit. Take away their sorrow, Lord. Take away their pain, O Lord, Father. All the emotional pain they are going through because of their bereavement at this time. Father, we ask you to wipe it away with your precious blood this afternoon. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because you have promised them that affliction shall not rise a second time in their lives in Jesus' name. Every spirit 
of immature deaths will bind you, we come against you in the name of Jesus. Every spirit of juvenile deaths will come against you in the name of Jesus. We'll lose your hold right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, release your peace and your comfort into the lives of these ones. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Our God is good all the time. The next prayer we are going to pray is for those with challenging parent, parenthood. We are going to pray for those suffering from depression, anxieties, and distress. And I repeat, we are praying for the families with challenging parenthood. Pray for those with depression, anxieties, and distress. We live in the world of stress, world of trouble. But the Lord is promising us His promise today. I'm reading from the book of Psalm 142, verse 6 to 7. Psalm 142, verse 6 to 7. It says, Attend to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may praise your name. The righteous shall surround me, for you shall deal bountifully with me. Hallelujah. The Lord is promising those who are going through challenging parenthood, maybe you have a child or two that are giving you trouble, or you are going through depression, or a period of anxiety, or you are in one distress or the other. The Lord Almighty is promising you His comfort today. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we release these people before you right now, Far and near, north and south, west and east, wherever they have love, Father, suffering from depression, anxiety, distress, challenging parenthood. Father, we ask for your strength right now to locate them in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for your wisdom right now to locate them in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask for the divine comfort of the Holy Spirit to locate them in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, comfort your people. Holy Spirit, have your way in the life of these ones. We pray for them today in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, wipe away their tears. Holy Spirit, give them your power. Give them your strength. Give them your, your, your spirit right now for them to continue living in peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, we destroy every spirit of fear. We pull down the stronghold of fear in the name of Jesus. We bind the spirit of depression. We come against anxiety spirit right now in Jesus' name. Every distressing spirit today, we rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let go, our people, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, grant our parents, O oh Lord, the wisdom, the patience to deal with their kids, Lord. Give them, O oh God, Father, my Lord, the financial provision as well to take care of their homes. Father, we thank you. Let your divine comfort locate them today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord Almighty is promising us His comfort. Is that not wonderful? He is a God of comfort. Hallelujah. And He will comfort us all on every side. In the name of Jesus. Now, we are going to be praying for those in troubled marriages. Marriages are shaking everywhere amongst the people of God. 
even amongst your believers as well. But the Lord Almighty is promising us comfort today. He's going to intervene in our marriages and He's going to bring peace and unity in hopes. The word of the Lord is in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 24 to 26. I repeat Matthew 8, 24 to 26. And suddenly a great tempest arose on the sea, so that the boat was covered with waves, but he was asleep. Then his disciples came to them, to him, and I woke him and said, Lord, save us. We are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the sea and the winds, and there was a great calm. Hallelujah. The God of suddenly is here today to bring calm into your troubled marriages. Hallelujah. He's here today to bring peace into your troubled homes. Hallelujah. Is it not a wonderful God? Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We present those who are going through problems or challenges in their marriages, O Lord, before you right now. You know them by their names and the nature of the trouble, Lord, that they are going through. But we know that you are God of peace, Jehovah Shalom. You are God that brings calm in the midst of trouble sea. Father, Lord, we ask you right now, my God, Lord, Father, to intervene in marriages right now in the name of Jesus. Bring your peace in every home right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring your understanding in every home right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Bring comfort in every home right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let there be peace in homes. Speak your word of patience into the hearts of husbands, into the hearts, hearts, hearts of, hearts of wives in the name of Jesus. Give our wives, O Lord, submission spirit in the name of Jesus. Give them wisdom to run their homes in the name of Jesus. Give, O oh Lord, Father, our husbands, O oh Lord, Father, the leadership spirit to rule their homes in the name of Jesus. Give them, O oh Lord, your direction. Give them, O oh Lord, my God, your leading in the name of Jesus. God of comfort, we pray right now to comfort every troubled home right now and bring unity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to be praying for those with financial difficulties. The Lord is bringing his comfort to those who are suffering financially. We, the economy is suffering from austerity. And we know there are many things happening all over the world. There is no exemption anywhere. People are struggling financially. But the Lord of comfort, the Lord of provision, is promising us His divine provision, even in the midst of austerity. I'm going to read from the book of Psalm 37, verse 25. Psalm 37, verse 25. If you have anyone in your family who is going through financial difficulty, this is the time to join me to pray for them. And I believe that Lord will visit them and change their story. Psalm 37, 25 says, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken, nor his descendants begging bread. Hallelujah. The word of comfort today is that no one among the children of the living God will beg for their bread. The Lord of provision, Jehovah Jireh is his name, is promising his divine provision and his bottom provisions for us in the name of Jesus. Father of comfort, Lord of provision, we call upon you right now, my God, to visit every home suffering from financial difficulty at this time, O Lord Father. We are asking you, Lord Father, to provide divinely 
in the name of Jesus for every of their need in Jesus mighty name Lord you know the nation the nature of what they are what, what they, are, they, they are looking for Lord Father to pay with money you are the God oh Lord Father that brought her the money from the mouth of the fish on that day to pay the tax on that day whatever the bill oh Lord that they are asking you to pay for them oh Lord Lord I pray for divine provision right now I pray for spot on provision right now in the name of Jesus I pray that your children we are not going to lack in Jesus mighty name we are not going to borrow in the mighty name of Jesus we ask you Lord Father my God to visit us oh Lord with your power the power of increase with the power of multiplication right now in the name of Jesus let there be promotion at work, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine blessings of God over businesses, in the name of Jesus. Let there be divine provision, my God, Lord, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good all the time. He is a good God. Hallelujah. He is a good God. Hallelujah. We are going to pray with those people with court cases. We are going to pray with people with court cases. The Lord is sending his word of comfort for those with court cases. The Lord Almighty is going to intervene in your court case in the name of Jesus. If you have family members who have one court case or the other, it doesn't matter whether it's a criminal court or civil court. The Lord is there to intervene and to give victory and freedom. I'm going to read the word of God from the Psalm 32, verse 7. Psalm 32, verse 7 says, You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. The Lord is promising preservation from the trouble of court cases. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. He's promising his deliverance to his people with court cases. Hallelujah. Is it not a wonderful God? He is. The word of God in Exodus chapter 14, verse 13. I repeat, Exodus 14, verse 13. Moses said to the people, Do not be afraid. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord which he will accomplish for you today. For the Egyptians you see today, you shall see again no more forever. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall have your peace. The Lord will fight for you, and you shall have your peace. This is the promise of God for those with court cases. The Lord is going to fight that case for you. And you are going to receive your deliverance. You are going to receive your peace. Father, we thank you for your word of promise right now. To those who have court cases, Lord Father. You know the nature of that court case, oh Lord Father. You are God that is able to do exceedingly. Even above all that we imagine. Even above all that we think, Lord. We pray your divine intervention, Lord Father. Over those cases right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask you, my God, to bring justice, O Lord Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Because we know you are a God of justice. Father, arise, O Lord, for your people. Arise, O Lord, for your people. Vindicate them, my God, by your righteousness only, Father. We pray right now in the name of Jesus. Bring your Bible, Lord, my God, for your freedom. From all these court cases, O Lord Father. Grant them justice, O Lord Father. Grant them justice, O Lord, for I will pray. The Egyptians of problems with, 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 with cases, O Lord, that they see today, they will not see them no more in the name of Jesus forever. In the name of Jesus, the Lord will fight for them. Begin to fight for them, O Lord. Begin to fight for them, O Lord. Begin to fight for them right now, my God. Give them victory. Give them victory. And every glory will come back to you, my Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Just receive your vindication. Receive your justice. The Lord Almighty has done it. He is a good God. 
He's a God of justice. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to his wonderful name. We thank God. He's a good God. We are still praying. We are still praying. Are you still with me? We are going to pray. The prayer of comfort for those that are facing investment losses, job losses, home losses, marriage losses. What is that loss that you are going through? The Lord is bringing His word of comfort to you today because He's a good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to read Psalm 27, verse 13. Psalm 27, verse 13 says, I would have lost art unless I believed that I would see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Hallelujah. The Lord is promising us His goodness. In the land of the living. It doesn't matter what you have lost. He is more than able to provide and to replace and even give more in abundance. Hallelujah. He's promising you in Psalm 30 verse 5. Psalm 30 verse 5. He said for his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for life. His favor is not short-lived. His favor is for life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is the word of the Lord for you today. Psalm 23 verse 1 says, The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Hallelujah. The Lord is our shepherd. He is our provider. We shall not be in any want. Hallelujah. Father Lord, at this time, I present those who are faced with one loss or the other, investment losses, job losses, marriage losses, whatever loss your people are going through. You are the God that is able to restore. You are the God of restoration. Father, I ask you to restore hundredfold what they have lost today in the name of Jesus. What the cantarum have eaten. What the locusts have swallowed. Love that from them, my God. Let it be restored back to your people right now. In the name of Jesus. You are the shepherd for your people. Lord Jesus. They shall never be in want in Jesus' name. Provide for all their needs in Jesus' mighty name, Lord Father. Even weeping may endure for a night. We pray that joy will come in the morning for them. In the mighty name of Jesus, let your joy come in the morning as you restore back all those losses right now. In the name of Jesus, as you bring down back all of that joy upon the hearts of your people. In the mighty name of Jesus, thank you, Father, because you have done it. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is good. He is a good God. He is a wonderful God. He's a God of comfort. He is a God of comfort. The Lord is bringing His word of comfort again to leaders in churches. The Lord has not forsaken you. He has not forgotten you. He knows your efforts. And He's bringing His word of comfort for you. In the book of, the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 15, verse, 12, verse 58. The book of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58. I repeat, the book of 1 Corinthians 15, verse 58, is the word of comfort for our leaders in churches. The Lord is saying to you, therefore, my beloved brethren, be steadfast. Be steadfast. Immovable. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Is it not an awesome God? He's promising you again, leaders in churches, listen to the word of God today. He said, my beloved brethren, he loves you so much. And he's saying to you to be steadfast in what you are doing. He's telling you to be immovable in what you are doing for the Lord. Always abounding in the work of the Lord. Because God knows that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, 
We present all our leaders in the churches before you right now, my God. We ask you to bring your word of comfort upon their hearts right now in the name of Jesus. You have not forsaken them. You have not forgotten them. Oh, Lord, Father, we are asking you right now to send your peace upon their hearts right now to give them the strength, more of you, more anointing in the name of Jesus, more of your heart over them to do the work you have given unto them with sincerity of heart in the name of Jesus, by your power only, in the name of Jesus, by your spirit only, in the name of Jesus. Because your, their labor is not in vain. Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory, Lord, Father. Strengthen your people even more. Cancel and comfort them. Those who are at the point of giving up, oh Lord, give them that strength to move on. Give them that strength to continue in what you have assigned to them to do. Father, we say thank you. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let them receive the joy of the Lord. Let them receive your peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, grant unto them double portion of the anointing right now to do great exploit for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. He is a very good God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point we are going to be praying to the persecuted Christians. We have a lot of Christians all over the world that are suffering from persecutions. We are here this day standing in the gap and praying for God comfort. Are you still with me? We are praying for the persecuted Christians. Even if we don't know any one of them, they are our brothers and sisters in the Lord. Let, them, let, let us show them our love by praying and interceding for them. That the Lord should comfort them at this crucial time in their lives. The word of the Lord is in the book of Luke 21. Book of Luke chapter 21, verse 12 to 13. It says, Before all these things, they will lay hands on you and persecute you, delivering you out to the synagogues and prisons. You will be brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. But it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Hallelujah. The word of the comfort for you today. Those who are suffering from persecutions. The Lord is saying, it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Hallelujah. Jesus was persecuted and Christians are suffering from persecutions in the same way in our generation. But today, the Lord is sending his word of comfort right now and saying it will turn out for you as an occasion for testimony. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory. We bless your wonderful name, O Lord. Heavenly Father, right now, we commit, O Lord, Father, all these ones before you right now. We ask you in the name of Jesus Christ to bring your word of comfort unto them. We bring right now, my God, as you do bring them before you right now, that you will deliver them, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, even those who are suffering at the moment from the hands of the Satan, for the Lord, release them. For the Lord, release them. Release them, O oh Lord, Father. Release them right now, we pray. Let their tears be wiped away totally. In the name of Jesus, let their pain be taken away totally. In the name of Jesus, let their sorrow be taken away totally. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. Because we know that you are the God of comfort. You are the one that will comfort your people. And we believe the anointing of comfort is flowing right now here. To reach out to these ones right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let your name alone be glorified. We thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the adoration. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. There's an old song that says, Comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. I am not afraid. Comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my 
comforter. I am not afraid, comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. I am not afraid, comforter. Jesus is my comforter. Jesus is my comforter. I am not afraid, is a comforter. Jesus is a comforter. We are not afraid. Comforter, comforter. Jesus is a comforter. Jesus is a comforter. We are not afraid. Hallelujah. The only comfort is in the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you have been blessed with the prayer today, Please join us again next time to pray, to intercede for people all over the world. Hallelujah. If you want to send in your prayer request, you will see our email address and the website address at the, at the, on the screen at the end of this program. The Lord will bless you as you do this in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, the name of the Holy Spirit. We love you. Jesus loves you. If you have not given your life to Christ, if you have not known Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, this is the time for you to arise and to make that crucial decision in your time at this time to say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to be your daughter. I want to be your son. If you are out there, can you join me in doing this prayer of salvation? Father, Father Jesus, Holy Spirit, I love you. I am so sorry. I have been doing it my own way in the past years. But now I need you. Help me. Receive me into your kingdom. I want to be your son. I want to be your daughter. Forgive me of all my sins. Wipe away all my sins. Take them away by your blood. I am ready, Lord Jesus, to be yours. Father, accept me into the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are praying with me, congratulations. You are welcome into the family of God. We love you. Jesus loves you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah.